Hey guys, Shoei here playing more Danganronpa. I am completely ready to watch the ending and the epilogue of this game that I've been playing for like two or three months uh, since I started this YouTube channel. Anyway, uh, let us watch this. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. The air purifiers turned off. Just like Junko said. They shut off immediately. That was the only difference. And now I wish we had Shihiro. She could have made everything better and we could have stayed at the school. Maybe. I don't know. Look at that. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. It felt almost absent-minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck here in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But, in the end... Hey. Hey. Uh, we can't just stand around like this forever, says Kyoko. At some point we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Makoto, would you do the honors, says she. Okay. As if I awakened... As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object I've gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it was... It had belonged to Yunko, and in the end, she dropped it before us. Are you sure that will open the thing? Will that not make, like, something explode? So, um... But, is that really it? Says Aoi. Is that really the key to this door? Indeed. Uh, you don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. Alright. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I will force you out, says Kyoko. She said that just before dropping dead. It makes sense that it would be your way out of here. But... Uh, but you never know, says Hiro. Maybe it's actually a switch that's gonna make the school self-destruct. Yes, that is exactly what I think. I mean, Junko never said specifically that she'd let us live here alive. Yeah, she's that kind of crazy. It's true. You may be right about that, says Kyoko. <laughs> yes. But even so, says Byakuya, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... Nice laugh. My beautiful scissors! If something ever happened to Master, says Genocide Jill, I take my scissors and jam it up so far. Achoo! What? And what would she do with, like, what? Is she gonna revive him with the scissors? <gasps> yeah, we have to explain now to Toko what happens. <laughs> Little jewel of a baby, huh? That's enough. <laughs> Look at Byakuya. Please stop. That would be a greater horror than anything we've encountered so far. Man, that is just mean. Although she likes punishment, but still. Anyway. Anyway, says Kyoko. Don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. But... Um... Uh, is what happens after we get out of here and worried about, says Hina. <sighs> but you know, in the end, I think part of me still thinks, says Hiro. For serious? Maybe, when we get out of here, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. That on the other side of this door is a world as peaceful as we remember. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be the case. But specifically because nobody saved us. And the only reason that didn't happen was because everything is a mess. 
Yep. Can we open the door, please? Uh, um... Mm. And, how do I put this? Unlike this school, the world is really big, right? Says Makoto. Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be uh, some despair no matter what. But there also has to be lots of hope, right? Oh, look at the ultimate hope doing his job. In other words... Says Kyoko, the act of searching for hope, to try and find it, that by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Uh, is she wrong? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it, says Makoto. She looks very happy to be able to put things in a better way than we can. Hmm. I don't need any of you to spell that out for me, says Byakuya. You know, Junko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. <laughs> to rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Togami dynasty. Yes, of course, because the to Togami dynasty is way more important than the world. It has to be rebuilt first. <laughs> okay. He has at least one minion. You got it! Uh... My first stop is gonna be the closest donut shop, says Aoi. Actually, we should go to the freaking kitchen and get a lot of food for us. We're just gonna leave without food. No, that's horrible. Let's go to the kitchen. What are we doing? We have to go to the kitchen. We have to go get weapons. God damn it, these people are like... I don't, I don't understand how Kyoko is not saying that right now. Hey. Hmm. Okay. She's just gonna make the donuts herself. Maybe maybe she'll become a, a well a farmer first because she needs to grow the wheat. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. If there's no road, you just gotta build one. Creation. Fate is telling me to remake the world. Says Hiro. I mean, sounds like a little bit. Of, like sounds like a lot to do. Could it be? That's my hope. How about that? I've reached the next stage, the next chapter of Yasuhiro uh, Hagakura's life story is about to begin. Woo! Thanks, Hina. You've totally opened my eyes. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, is it like a couple making game? Like, you have Togo and Byakuya, you have Hina and Hiro, and then you have Kyoko and Makoto? Ooh! Personal space, buddy. You're seriously clipping me out. We have to repopulate the world, Hina. Wink wink, notch notch. Makoto. Come on, Makoto. Says Kyoko. Even if everyone uh, in the outside world is gone, even if the world is steep in despair, <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. I are you saying we should get married? If we can get out of here uh, and do something, have some sort of impact. Okay. Mm. We can do anything, huh? Okay. Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. What do you mean goodbye? Goodbye to whom? But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. We don't not have to say goodbye. We we can stay together, man. Hey guys, you guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. Wait, are we are we getting separated now? These people are insane. You know how much I hate being annoyed, but if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but you know. Nice. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. Is she the one who's gonna write uh, the story of Danganronpa? I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and the others, I guess. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? Yeah, but you don't remember anything you studied for the last two years. 
it looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up, I have to push even harder. Actually, if people are watching us on TV, there's going to be a big reception for us outside. Isn't there gonna be? I'm going to keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can be ahead. Can move ahead, sorry. The door began to open. With my hands, with our hands, hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. Okay, what is gonna be on the other side? Is it gonna be people? It is gonna be people. It's gonna be a bunch of people being like, Yay! We knew you would always do it. We're, we're, we're your biggest fans. Can you sign my boobs or something? Alright. Are, are they gonna tell me? What? There's flowers? And a TV? And a sun with a face? Byakuya Togami? Yeah, but... Man. Really? I do not get to... What? Is that it? I don't get to see what's on the other side? I just get to see the pictures of the... Well, damn! Celestia Ludenberg. Uh, do I... Do I have to wait until this ends? And then it's gonna be some kind of... Scene? Hmm, I wonder. Um, can I... Okay. I pressed escape, and this happened. There's Monokuma. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. No, you're a robot. I am Monokuma, and I am your, I am this school's headmaster. Look at their little tail. I got an easter egg, nice. Is that easter egg gonna grow to become Monokuma? Yeah, let's save the data. Uh, what will happen? What will happen now? Wait, is the game gonna start again? I remember seeing this. This is the beginning of the game, isn't it? Can I skip it? Okay, if I skip it, the game starts again. So, that was the epilogue. That was it, guys! We finished the game! Uh, that is awesome. Well, uh, it took me like 40 or 50 hours to finish this game. If you have made it this far, like, thank you for watching. I am gonna see you in a different game. Maybe someday I will play Danganronpa 2, but for now, that is not in my plans. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye!